In this video, we will make a book out of simple materials you might have around your house. You'll need paper, both the covers and pages, a hole punch, a rubber band or elastic hair tie, and a pencil or stick. Start by gathering your pages and covers, which should be cut to the same size. I'm using an old card for my cover and printer paper for my pages, then any scrap paper or junk mail would also work. Put your pages in between the two covers and line everything up perfectly. Then use a hole punch to carefully punch two holes near the edge of the book. Be sure to think about the size of your book in relation to the size of your rubber band. If you make the holes too far apart on a bigger book, your rubber band may not stretch all the way or you'll have a book that won't lay flat. Also consider how many pages your hole punch can go through. Unless you have a heavy duty hole punch, you are limited to 10 to 15 pages. After the two holes are punched in your book, one near the top and one near the bottom, get a rubber band from a newspaper or vegetables, or even a hair tie. Flip the book over, fold your rubber band, and thread one end through the top hole and the other through the bottom hole. Then flip the book to the front and place your pencil or stick through each end of the rubber band. Keep in mind your stick should be shorter than your book. Finish by adjusting the pencil or stick in the rubber band so everything is lined up. I made two versions of this book, one smaller book with a rubber band and pencil, and another slightly larger book made from a hair tie and a chopstick. If you have a certain book size in mind, look around your house or outside for a stick that is the perfect size. Otherwise, base your book size around the length of stick you have. 